Cookie Swirl. See? <laughs> Merry Christmas, Cookie fans! I have a very, very special craft today. We are going to be giving this Happy Places Shoppies doll a makeover. And not just any makeover, a super duper special makeover. We're going to be doing an awesome custom based off of a drawing by one of my cookie fans. This is from AG Glitter Sparkle, who drew a drawing of a Shoppies called Merry Christmas. So I thought it'd be super duper awesome to customize her into a Shoppies doll, inspired by my cookie fans drawing. So let's turn Angelica into Merry Christmas, which is like such an awesome name. You guys are so creative. Merry Christmas has a lot of green. So I thought I would take these two colors and mix them up and create a custom green color. So give these acrylic paints a good shake. Woo, yeah, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. So a little bit of some of this really pretty, almost like a mint green. Now I'm gonna add in just a touch of this beautiful shamrock green. Just kind of mix the colors together and just see what we get here. Ooh, yeah, that's a perfect green color. And paint all of Merry Christmas's hair. We can go in later with some details. I just want to get the main color of her hair all colored in. Do -do 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 -do. Even gonna paint the back of her hair. I love these chunks of jello. They're just so cool. There we go. So I just want to give her whole entire hair color a green makeover. It is beginning to look a lot like green Christmas hair. There we go. That's the first coat of color on her hair. Now we'll start working on her outfit. It looks like the dress is a little bit of a lighter green than her hair. So I'm going to use this mint green again. Just use this. I'm gonna mix it back in with this beautiful color that I had mixed it before. But now I'm just gonna add some more of that minty green color in because that's just kind of what I'm seeing from the picture. There we go. And now her beautiful dress is gonna be a little bit of a different colored green than her hair. Can lift her arms up. Whoop, lift, lift, lift so I can paint underneath her arms. This is so cool. I love painting shoppies. This is so cool. You can really create your own custom shoppies to look like anything you want. So this is gonna be Merry Christmas. Now I personally recommend painting the dresses and the clothing on the shoppies doll because as the paint hardens, it can sometimes crack if you try to remove their outfit. So I like to just paint the outfit right on the doll. All right, there's the first coat on that. So now I'm gonna paint my first paint layer on her shoes. Do, 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 do. This is gonna be the same color green as her dress. And now I can kind of paint on her legs a little bit. She's wearing these stripy nylons. Do, 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 do. Now I'm gonna mix up even more green. This is now for my second coat to paint her hair. Da, 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 da. There we go. Now the color's coming in nice and strong. Do, 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 do. There we go, paint all these little jello chunks. Go in with my more smaller brush, my little detail brush, and that way I can kind of paint a little bit closer to her face. Make sure I get all these pieces of hair here and cover up that jelly pink color. There we go, just touch all that up. Now I'm gonna go in with a toothpick, take a little bit of some paint right on the tip, and now I can just paint on her eyebrows. There we go, now she's got a green eyebrow. We'll do the other one. Eyebrow color has to match. Now I'm gonna paint a second coat on her dress. Paint, paint, paint. And now I'll go in with a third layer on her dress. There we go, now it looks like all of the splotchy spots are covered up. Splotchy no more. Merry Christmas is looking amazing. So now we're gonna add in the red. Now that we've gotten all the green colored in, so I'm gonna be using this red apple color. Shake, 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 shake. Now I'm gonna do two different colors of red. I'm gonna do a pinkish red and like this candy apple red. So for the candy apple red, I'm just gonna pick a few parts of her hair, some of these little jello cubes, and I'm just gonna paint them this super gorgeous red color. Do a darker color right here. Just have to make sure I paint the whole entire cube of a jello. Now she's got some cubes back here that you can't really see from the front. So I'll just paint a few of these in this red color as well. Might as well. Just add a little bit more color. Now with her shoes, I'm also going to paint them this Christmas red color. For the present wrap on her shirt and for some pieces in her hair, I'm gonna actually add in a beautiful, beautiful pink color that I'm gonna mix with a little bit of red just so I can give the shoppies just a little bit more extra color. So I'm gonna take my pink and mix it with just a tiny touch of red. Kind of mix that color together and there we go. So it's kind of a pink red mix. So now with this color, I'm going to paint just a few pieces of her hair in the front. There we go, paint this piece and this piece of hair. And then we'll do a couple of these little jello chunks. So it looks like on her shirt she's wrapped up like a present. So now I'm just going to take my brush and right on one side of her, just draw a little line and a line going this way. 
And I can go back over with a second coat and that will really make that red pink color pop. Look at that color. Woo, merry and bright, right? Now I'm gonna go in with that pink color and I'm gonna paint these stripey stripies on her legs for her little leggings. It's so cute, it reminds me of like a little elf stocking. Now I'm gonna go in with my hot pink, my diva pink color, and it looks like she's wearing a headband. So just using that hot pink color, I'm just going to attach this headband right onto the top of her hair. Do, 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 do. So just paint, paint, paint down, and we'll paint it across just a little bit. There we go for her little headband piece. Now before I go in with my final color. I'm gonna go in with my dark green and I'm just going to touch up any area that the paint just kinda got a little bit away from me. Here we go, just kinda touch it up, like right here. Perfect. And I'm gonna touch up her bow, just make it a little bit thinner. And touch up her leggings as well. These little stripies, there we go. Now I'm going to paint on her little bows. So I'm going to take a toothpick, dip it in my red paint, and now I'm just going to paint on my bows. There's one little bow. There we go, two little Christmas bows. And a bow right on her present shirt. Now in the picture, it looks like she's got some beautiful little yellow decorating trim around her outfit. But I think I'm gonna use this very, very beautiful golden color. So a little golden trim at the bottom of her dress. Da, 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 da. Just paint it all the way around. And around her sleeve trim. And around her waist. And it looks like she has a yellow tiara on her head. But this Shoppies doll has a whole bunch of these little berries on her head. So let's just go ahead and paint those gold. Do, 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 do. There we go. Looks like little golden like holly berries or something. Now to seal all of the color in, I'm gonna use some of this DuraClear matte varnish. I'm gonna put some on my brush, rinse it in water, cause this stuff is very, very powerful. If I use too much of this DuraClear varnish, it can actually make the shoppies very, very sticky and too shiny. And if I use too little, then it won't make the color pop. So I'm just gonna paint this all over and this is gonna protect her coat color forever and ever and ever and make her completely durable for play. All right, Merry Christmas is almost completely done. The last thing I wanna do is add just a little tiny sparkle by putting a tiny drop of this glitter nail polish on some of the gold. So paint a little bit here on top. And yes, this is the exact same gold glitter I have on my nails right now. I love this sparkly gold glitter. Put it right on for a little twinkle, sparkle and shine. Maybe I'll put a tiny dot of glitter on my toothpick and just put them right in the middle of my bows for a little glitter. All right, cookie fans, gather around. Let's meet the newest shoppies. Merry Christmas. <gasps> She's so cute. I think she turned out absolutely beautifully. I love her so, so, so much. So again, I have to say thank you so much to AG Glitter Sparkle for your amazing, amazing inspirational drawing. Thank you so much. This was an amazing idea to customize this Shoppies doll. So, so super duper cute. Of course, I will link the original video of my cookie fans drawing so you can see it for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video of checking out this custom Shoppies doll. She's gonna spend Christmas with the rest of her Shoppies friends. I wish you guys a merry, merry Christmas and a wonderful, wonderful day today. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, cookie fans. Whoa, so cool. My name's Rainbow Kate. Hi, I'm Merry Christmas. All right, cookie fans, who remembers? What color did I paint Merry Christmas's eyebrows? Are they green, red, pink, or gold? Bye, Christmas cookies!